So there's a big LLC change uh, here in 2024 that everyone's talking about. What exactly is it and, and what does it mean? It's a nightmare is what it is. <laughs> uh, it's called, I assume you're talking about the Corporate Transparency Act, right? Yes. So in order to, according to the government, in order to protect us from, you know, money laundering and tax evasions and nefarious activity and all that kind of stuff, uh, they want to know now, the government, the U.S. government wants to know who the ultimate owners are of all of these LLCs. So they don't care that you're setting up a holding company and an LLC and a trust and this and the other. They want to know who owns 25% of this company or more, and they want to know the individual. Mm -hmm. And they want to know your name, they want to know your home address, they want to know your date of birth, and they want to know your driver's license or passport number, and they want a copy of your passport or driver's uh, license. And so this is all starting January 1st, 2024. So any entities that you form this year, you have 90 days to file this information with the government under, it's called FinCEN, Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Uh, you got 90 days to do that, and if you don't, the penalties are pretty severe. It's $500 a day per, per day per violation. And if you get to the criminal side, it's $10,000 a day and two years in prison. Wow. They're, not, they're not messing around. And what if you form these entities in 2023 or, or sooner? So these apply to any entities that you've ever filed, that you've actually filed with, with the Secretary of State. So if you set something up 20 years ago because you bought a, a rental property, then you, that, that, you're going to have a year. You have one year from the date from today. So you have until the end of 2024 to do that. So you got a little bit more time if you've got priorities, but I literally have clients, I have a particular client who has over 100 LLCs. Yeah, I believe it. So that's a lot of freaking compliance and trying to track down all that information gets pretty pricey. So we've actually made a decision not to do any of these anymore. It's just too, because uh, here's the, the thing that really sucks for us is that the person or the company that files, so we filed our LLCs for our clients, we're on the hook too if we mm. don't do it right. Right. And so, um, you know, if we set up an LLC and then Rich, you decide that you don't want to give me your home address for whatever reason, or you give me the wrong address, or you don't want to do whatever, then we, we're on the hook too for the penalties. And so there's a, a, a really high liability now for the applicant who's actually, whether it's us, whether it's LegalZoom, whether it's one, any of these uh, entities. And so we just decided to just outsource that now. And we have another company that's just going to handle all the filings, all the Corporate Transparency Act filings. And, and we're just like, we're out. Yeah. We, we got to figure something out because we, we use, I want to say three different corporate filing yeah. companies, third party yeah. companies. Corporate Direct is one of them. Prime Corporate Services is another one. And then we've had various, you know, SEC attorneys form other ones. So I need to figure out, okay, who's going to be doing all the managing? I kind of want it under one person. So then it's like one point of contact, one director, and anything that we need to be ran up, we just go through that person um, or that company. So I need to, I need to figure out what that's going to look like. I do like uh, Prime Corporate Services. They have like a good affiliate program. So I'm thinking maybe we'll roll with them. Yeah. No, I mean, anybody but us. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we want no part of it.